Trump claims record-busting $50 million haul from Florida fundraiser as he compares himself to Mandela. Trump compares himself to late South African president and anti-apartheid leader as he says he's prepared to go to jail over violating hush money case gag order, Trump campaign has claimed that they raised $50.5 million during a fundraiser at the Palm Beach, Florida mansion of hedge fund manager John Paulson on Saturday night. Almost double the amount raised by last month's Biden campaign fundraiser featuring three presidents, which raised $26 million. Mr. Trump spoke to the 117 guests in the backyard of the home for about 45 minutes after joining them for pictures following his arrival, according to a campaign spokesperson. Ahead of the event on Saturday, Mr. Trump wrote on Truth Social at 4 p.m., biggest night in fundraising of all time. We'll double up the Biden number of last week at Radio City. People are desperate for change. They want to make America great again. Also on Saturday, Mr. Trump compared himself to the late former South African President Nelson Mandela as he welcomed the prospect of going to jail for violating a gag order in his hush money case. He wrote in a long post on Truth Social that I will gladly become a modern-day Nelson Mandela, it will be my great honor. This comes after Mr. Trump suffered legal setbacks in both his Florida and Georgia cases on Thursday. Saturday Night Live comedically threw suspicion on Donald Trump's claims that President Joe Biden was on drugs during his recent State of the Union address. Trump outrageously suggested future presidential debates should be drug-tested after Biden's eyebrow-raising speech, which occurred in March. His quotes didn't go unnoticed by U.S. sketch show SNL who, one week after lampooning Trump for his bizarre attempts to sell Bibles, poked fun at his comments during the Weekend Update segment. Trump told conservative radio show host Hugh Hewitt earlier this week, I think what happened is, you know, that white stuff that they happened to find, which happened to be cocaine in the White House, I don't know, I think something's going on there. I watched his State of the Union, and he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end he was fading fast. There's something going on there. The return of Melania she's back. Former US First Lady Melania Trump, who has largely been missing in action throughout her husband Donald Trump's latest presidential run, is due to make her first campaign appearance of 2024 later this month, albeit without leaving the comfort of her own home. According to Politico, Ms. Trump will host a fundraiser for the Log Cabin Republicans LCB group on Saturday, April 20, an event being held at the Trump's Mar-a-Lago home in Palm Beach, Florida. Trump suggests Biden was higher than a kite at State of the Union. Donald Trump has made the outrageous claim that President Joe Biden was on drugs when he delivered his barnstorming State of the Union address last month, without providing any evidence to substantiate the allegation. The Republican presidential candidate, who will take on his successor in November in a rematch of the 2020 election contest, made the offhand remark about the president's performance at his March 7 address during an appearance on conservative radio show host Hugh Hewitt's show on Thursday. Mr. Trump said, I think what happened is, you know, that white stuff that they happened to find, which happened to be cocaine in the White House, I don't know, I think something's going on there. I watched his State of the Union, and he was all jacked up at the beginning. By the end he was fading fast. There's something going on there. The centrist group No Labels announced that it was ending its bid to generate support for a third-party bid for the 2024 presidential election cycle, ending a number of headaches for the Biden re-election campaign. Members of the group, who had faced calls to disclose the fundraising backing the effort, said in a statement on Thursday that while Americans supposedly remain open to the concept of a third-party candidate, they had been unable to identify a credible and willing figure to take up that mantle. In an interview on Fox News on Thursday, when pressed by Neil Cavuto on who he would vote for, No Labels National Director Joe Cunningham said he would vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. Trump's $175 million fraud bond thrown into doubt. Donald Trump's $175 million bond in his New York civil fraud case has been thrown into doubt by New York Attorney General Letitia James after she filed a notice asking for evidence that the out-of-state firm that underwrote it really has the money to pay up. Fulton County, judge denies Trump's latest bid to dismiss election interference case. A Georgia judge has rejected Donald Trump and his co-defendants' attempt to dismiss the state election interference trial for violating their right to free speech. Fulton County Superior Court Judge Scott McAfee on Thursday denied the defendant's latest attempt to delay or dismiss the case, saying the unsubstantiated claims of election fraud that the defendants made were allegedly, in furtherance of criminal activity and constitute false statements knowingly and willfully made in matters within a government agency's jurisdiction which threatened to deceive and harm the government. So viewers, what do you want to say about it all? Do comment and for more update please subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.